or an SD card, and then copy that onto your computer, and then burn them to either a DVD-R disk or a mini DVD-R disk, and then play those on your Nintendo Wii. You'll also need a GameCube controller and memory card. So unfortunately, this only works on older Wii. So you can go to WiiDrives.com and use your Wii serial number to see if your Wii is compatible. If not, you may need a, a mod chip or a hardware modification. And you'll also need the homebrew channel on a hacked Wii. If you don't already have that, you can check out my other videos for that and come back to this one when you're done. Let's get started. All right. First, you can follow the link in the video description. Download Clean Rip. Click download. And be sure to download the version for Wii and not the version for GameCube. When it's done, you can right click and extract it with WinRAR, which you can also download from the video description. Then insert your SD card. And then go to my computer. Into the SD card. And then copy the apps folder to the SD card. Then remove the SD card from your computer and insert it into your Wii. Then go to the Humber channel. Then go to Clean Rip and load it. And read the disclaimer. And press A to continue. And select your drive type. I'm using the USB. And select your file system. I'm using FAT32. Then connect your hard drive to your Wii. And press A to continue. And this is optional, so I select no. Then you insert your GameCube disk. I'm using Zelda Wind Waker. And then press A to continue. And this normally takes a while, but I've sped up the video clip. Alright, and then when it's done, you can remove the external hard drive and connect it to your computer. And if you have a WBFS partition, do not format it. Then open your external hard drive, and on the root of it, there should be an ISO image of the GameCube game you just ripped. You can just copy it to your desktop. Insert your DVD-R or mini DVD-R. Then burn it using Image Burn, which you can download from the video description. And select your drive you're using to burn it and choose to verify it. You can burn it at 3x. Then click right. Right, and then when it's done, you can click OK. And 
Now I'm going to move your DVD-R or mini dvd dash and insert it into your Wii. And then if you've installed Dark Corpse, you'll be able to play it directly in the disc channel. If not, you can play it in a GameCube backup launcher. Alright, then press A for auto detect. There you go, Zelda Wind Waker. Alright, there you go. Enjoy uh, ripping your GameCube disc and burning them and playing them on your Nintendo Wii. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe. You can also check me out on